let's talk a little bit about ad roll conversion tracking. So I recently needed to figure this out for a client of mine. So I'm now making a video. Um, this is mostly a reminder for myself how to pull this off when the next time happens, because the documentation was a little weird uh, with the ad roll. So let's start with the basic stuff. So uh, for the pixel, um, we will go to audiences and website. This is going to look a little different when you first start off, but there's like a pixel thing here. And here, once we have it installed, it's different. We view pixel. So here we can copy the code. So this is the first thing I uh, found interesting to keep in mind. We actually want to use this code, although we would have Google Tag Manager templates, but they were just kind of weird. And the version was a little weird because there's version one and version two. And I didn't find good information on which one the template was using. There were like new features. Yeah, so the best way was clearly just to use this version. So we would go to Google Tag Manager, we would go to new tag, we would go to custom HTML tag, and we would pop this thing here. And what I would of, of course do, I would uh, turn these into variables. So we would, let's open a new tab here, go to variables here, and then click new and I would create two new constant variables. I actually did that already, but yeah, then we can kind of replace the ad roll advertising ID and the ad roll pixel ID with this constant. So I think this would be fired either on all pages or initialization. I would pro probably go for initialization. And of course, name this like add roll tag or something like that. So this is the base. So just to clarify, there indeed is this add roll smart pixel thing. But yeah, the, this was just a little weird and confusing. So. I'm not sure which version this is using, and I definitely want to use the latest version. There were instructions on how to use this um, Pixel Pal extension for spotting the version, but I don't think I saw it here. So yeah, th this was just weird, and we're doing some like custom stuff anyway, so I, I don't want to use this for the uh, conversions. Because yeah, it, it, we need some custom things, and this is kind of weird. And Overall, I think uh, just copy pasting these to Google Tag Manager and edit uh, making a couple of variables, which we would use, by the way, uh, for the for the smart pixel, Adderall smart pixel. Anyway, so I don't think there's much benefit in that for the pixel, uh, page view pixel. All right, next up, this was a little tricky. For this client, uh, we wanted to, wanted to track acuity scheduling conversions. So this would be the same for type form, chat form, tally form, uh, Stripe. Well, Stripe payment link uh, would have a refresh. So anything where we don't actually have a refresh and we don't have a product ID. Let me explain. So. for almost any other platform like Google Analytics 4 or Facebook Pixel or the Meta Pixel or Google Ads, we would use something like a purchase event. So AdRoll has this purchase thing. So because we are charging money for our acuity scheduling bookings for this client, for example, um, I would love to use the purchase. However, there was an issue and I talked about this with the AdRoll um, technical support. And the problem was that we need a product ID. So we actually, we could have a product ID from the Acuity scheduling booking system or almost any system, but the product ID for AdRoll needs to match something somewhere. 
I didn't get a good answer to what it was. And actually, if you Google, you find that others are also a little bit kind of struggling, like, what, what, what is this? Like, wh where do we get it? Maybe uh, it's a thing for like e-commerce platforms and maybe it works out of the box if you use like an integration that's built in. But for our purposes, um, the Adderall or Nextrol Pixel Pal gave us a warning that the product ID wasn't matching and apparently the conversions were not track, tracked. So the, the next um, approach was that the Adderall um, support told me that I would, sorry, this is actually the wrong email. All right, here we have the correct email. So I got an answer from the Adderall support and they uh, talked about the warning message uh, regarding the uh, purchase uh, product ID. So they say they have we have implemented purchase instead of page view, which makes sense because it is not a page view, it is purchase. Um, or at least it's much more than a more like purchase because it's a transaction where we get United States dollars without viewing a page. All right, but the then uh, this is the snippet that we had. Um, so we are told to use the page view, order ID, conversion value and currency. And so I'm still a little unclear about what 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 a product feed would uh, look like and how that would be sorted. But apparently they don't think it's a good idea. And they say that this is uh, sufficient for tracking revenue. However, when I implemented that and verified that with the Adderall support, they actually said that the support engineers uh, said that uh, the conversion value was not being recorded because the URL is not changing, which has been clear from the start. So uh, we created a new conversion segment called schedule uh, consultation. So this is kind of why I'm making this video for you, but also for a future me. When I install this next time, I wouldn't remember unless I had clear documentation. So this is how it goes. We still track page views, although again, this is not a page view in this context. Uh, if it's a page view, it would probably make things a little easier. Mm, segment name, this is a thing we get using the uh, event JS match in Adderall. So here you can see uh, under website site audiences, when we disable our ad block, we can see this and we can see the schedule consultation event JS match rule has snippet pattern of the 72DD blah blah blah. And here we can see the Adderall purchase as a page view. Uh, this is what we have configured. So this is the, the format. We track page view, but at the segment name. So interestingly enough, this does not match what we get when we create a new segment. Let me show you uh, what, what I mean by that. So let's say this is our new audience. Let's call this uh, HubSpot form sub submit, something like something new, where we again do not have a page view. So here we would use the event JS match and we get this snippet, but here it says add role segments, um, but here it's, it says segment name. So we, do, we would not be copy pasting this, we would only be uh, interested in this. Conversion audience, this is interesting um, because apparently we can leave this blank and then use a dynamic value. I wish it was a little bit clearer so HubSpot form submit here. So this is now very similar to what uh, Adderall has set up for us. 
for schedule consultation. Snippet pattern is the 72DD thing. Here the snippet pattern is the 379. So I would go to a new tag. Again, use the custom HTML tag. I would copy paste this uh, kind of a placeholder or, or this uh, template, code snippet, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And here is where I would add this snippet pattern. And here I would, you know, add the conversion value and currency and an order ID. All right, so now I have documentation for myself for new projects. This is what I do when you do conversion tracking. So many weird little details unique to each platform that need to be remembered. Undocumented stuff you only get when you ask the customer support multiple questions. And then once you have it working, well, then you can implement it for anyone. But usually it's good to keep a good documentation. But yeah, instead of just making the video for myself, which I usually do for these projects, I now attempt to document it for YouTube, even if it's a little uh, general, a little bit um, not including all the step-by-step -step details, but hopefully it's useful for others. And also to let people know that if you need Adderall conversion tracking, you can get in touch with me. If uh, chat GPT and this video and the documentation can't get it done for you.